Hi, for this morning, this is our topic, the types of angle according to its measurement and our objective will be to name the different types of angle according to its measurement. So just a review, we already named the types of angle in our previous class. We have the acute angle. It's an angle that measures less than 90 degrees but greater than 0 degrees. We also have the right angle which measures exactly 90 degrees. And the third type of angle is the obtuse angle which measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. And the fourth type of angle that we have discussed in our class is the straight angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. And for our activity for this session, I have here the first figure. So as you can see, it looks like a protractor. So point H, this is the common endpoint. And the first angle here is we have BHA that measures 30 degrees. C, angle C, H, A, it measures uh, 60 degrees. Angle D, H, A measures 90 degrees. And angle E, H, A measures 120 degrees. And angle F, H, E measures 150 degrees. And angle G, H, A measures 180 degrees. So again, point H is the common end point of all these angles and these are also overlapping angles so we can see angle f h d angle e h b so those are the things or those are the angles that we are going to look for its measurements so we are going to use this figure to find the measurements of other angles. So I have here the instruction and for our activity. So exercises, find the values of the following angles and give its type of angle according to its measurements. So we have here example number one. We have to find the measurements of angle C H A. So let us go back to our illustration. Angle, angle C, H, A. So this is the angle that we are looking for. So we just have to subtract this measurement, this angle, to this angle. So it's very easy because on C, we have 60 degrees and on A, we have 0 degrees. So this is how we are going to do this. So in C, is that is 0 degrees minus the 0 degrees. In A, so this is a total of 60 degrees. And we are going to determine the type of the angle. And this is acute angle. Next example will be, we have to find the measurements and the type of angle G, H, E. So let us go back to our illustration. Angle G, H and E. So this is our focus angle G H A. So let us try to draw it here. G H E and G measures 180 degrees and E measures 120 degrees. So, what are we going to do with this is we have to subtract these two values. So, I have here 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So, if we are going to subtract these two values, 180 minus 120, we are going to get 60 degrees. And still, this is an acute angle. And the last example here is angle FHH. I mean, angle FHC. Angle F, H, and C. Angle F, H, and C. So let us draw this here. So angle F, H, 
C and based on our illustration, angle F is 150 degrees and C is 60 degrees. So we have here 150 degrees and 60 degrees. So we are interested for the measurement of this angle. So we have to subtract these two numbers. 150 degrees minus 60 degrees that will give us 90 degrees and this 90 degrees is equal to right angle for your activity you are going to use this illustration so you are going to copy this in your paper one half crosswise and then you are going to answer these given problems so these are the given problems so you have to find the measurements of each angle and give its type of angle so again you are going to write this in a one half crosswise and then you are going to answer with a partner. So this activity is by pair. That would be all for today. Bye-bye.